Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm pretty guys a brand new video today, and today we're playing some Pokemon Daybreak, baby. It is bag. We've got all sorts of fun surprises for you today. Very excited about this episode. So take a second, hit that like button down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I was actually feeling a bit under the weather over the last couple days, but luckily it went by really quick. Like, I feel way better today. I had basically a day and a half. The day I recorded the last episode, I was starting to feel sick, and then by that night, I was feeling really sick. And then the, the day after, yesterday, I was basically shot the whole day. But I'm back. My throat feels way better. I feel way better. We should be good to go. So I'm glad it was a quick, quick passing uh, little sickness there. But I've got a couple things I want to talk about. The first being, you guys are going to be the first ones to know that a new Team Shoddy shirt is available. And it's not just one shirt. It's three. And these might be the best three ever. Mew, Victini, and Jirachi are mythical combination. You can get all three shirts at a discount or pick up each individual shirt. And TeamShiny.com. I don't know how you don't pick up these shirts. These are amazing. So if you want to support your boy, support the channel, and look absolutely swagged out, go check them out at TeamShiny.com. I think KG and Marta outdid themselves on this one. That Mew design is so good, man. I want to see you guys blow it away and set records on this one because I really think these mythical designs are amazing. And you already know I'm V for victory, so I can't wait to get that shirt in. So check them out. Pick them up at TeamShiny.com. You don't want to miss them. Now... Jumping into daybreak here. I think this is really important. I read a comment. I don't remember who commented. I'm sorry I should have I should have found it again, but someone's like yo you're playing this fan made game, dude I know Umbreon's good, but you should really you should really take advantage of the Duleons and I'm like, you know what? You're right I have waited long enough I have waited long enough and I have decided on which Duleon I'm gonna go for okay Listen, we've been rocking my man Darwin the whole time and he's got EVLA. He's busted He's busted with EVLA, but I, I agree. I think it's time that we get one of the types. And this may surprise you, but I'm gonna go with the Xerix. That is the ice type evolution. I'm doing it right now. I'm not gonna change my mind. I'm committing to it. Now I know defensively, the ice type Duleon may not be the best, but offensively, I think this thing is gonna be an absolute monster. And by the way, it looks amazing. Xerion looks amazing. And I just did it. I did it. I did it. I committed. I'm done. The reason also why I'm doing this is because I was, I, I actually, I saw that the grass one would have been really good, right? I, I actually have TMs already. We could buy more, but I saw the grass one was going to be really good. This thing, by the way, has is basically Glaceon stats. It's very, very offensive. Uh, so we're going to be going with a different set. He's not going to be the defensive set that we had it before. He's going to be very offensive. I think I picked up Ice Beam at some point as well. I did. Uh, so he's going to just be super duper offensive. I think he's going to be amazing. Um, I'm gonna keep I don't really need protect I'm actually gonna make him just like hyper offensive and make him choice scarf So he just hits really hard. I wonder if he can learn call mine actually. Let's check He can't I'll see what other moves he can learn real quick But I, like I said, I was debating I was going back and forth about what I wanted to do and ultimately I feel like having a super offensive ice type is gonna be worth my time So that's what I'm going for. He can't learn that. I think that's probably the best that he can get I'll I'll see what TMs there are too. Maybe some other TMs that he can learn and we'll go from there. Look at this move set: Ice Beam, Dark Ball, Shadow Ball, Psychic. And I'm going to give him the Choice Scarf. So that way he outspeeds stuff. Because he's going to be pretty slow. He's not going to be that fast. But I know we picked up the Choice Scarf at one point. Uh, I'm pretty sure anyway. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Choice Scarf. Perfect. So that's where we're at with that. Very excited about it. And I'm ready to go, baby. I'm ready to jump into this episode and have some fun. We've got a super cool team now. I got a little training to do on some of the Pokemon, obviously. Um, Nexus and Megatron are a little bit underleveled. They've got the lucky egg, so they'll catch up pretty quickly. And now we've got this amazing team to rock with. So let's jump into things, man. And here we are on Sandstone Path. And we're going to find out what we are going to expect here on Sandstone Path. Juggler Jazzy can get the opposite of the level 60 Gallade. And right out the gates, I'm faced with a very strong Pokemon. This game is holding no punches now. Level 60. He's going to protect. Luckily for us, I do have counter. So he's going to full swipe, which isn't really going to do too much. But we can definitely blow him back with counter here. And there's not a whole lot of Gallade is doing to 07. So he'll fall swipe me again. Rocky Helmet's going to do work. And then we'll counter him back. I really got to get those other Pokemon trained up. Because we are we are in a tough spot now. And a Murkion, Water, and Dark. And this is where I could bring in Darwin. Or I could bring in Nexus too. But he's, he's a lot of high. He's way higher levels than me. Um, Let's go... Crobat and U-turn maybe? He's gonna Dark Pulse. That doesn't do too much actually. Uh, we could U-turn, hit him super effectively. That didn't really do much back. Actually, I'm gonna go Nexus because I, I, I do feel like we have a good type advantage here. 
And I'll just go for play rough. I think I can live one hit anyway. He's gonna Aqua Ring. This is huge power boost. This is gonna be mad XP. Yeah, and I get an attack drop. I think we, we can stay in for one more hit. He's gonna Hydro Bomb. This shouldn't do too much. Yeah, Nexus's type is really good here. So we should be okay. Another Hydro Pump. Murky, I, I'm just somehow missing multiple play roughs. It's a 90% accurate move. There we go. Now we hit it. That should be really good XP. Let's see. 1900. I mean, it gets us a level, so. There we go. You guys can see. We're going to deal with Megas now. And I did just pick up a tremendous amount of Hyper Potions. So let's heal up, everybody, and keep on keeping on here. This is awfully bumpy. Okay. Should I be worried, Hiker Blanco? He's got a Steelix. And again, I do have to switch out. <laughs> go figure, right? I face off against multiple Pokemon and I have to switch out immediately against all of them. Um, I think this is a case for Juggernaut, probably. Um, he's not as high of a level, at least. Yeah, he'll actually give me a Spadef boost there, but he could be boosted from that. I think we just click Earthquake. Because realistically, Steelix is only going to Earthquake me back. He's going to dig. Oh, this is amazing because Earthquake still hits when you dig. Goodbye. That's actually wonderful. Thank you for that. This is very valuable XP here. And a Conkelder. Okay, well, I have a very good Conkelder. I have multiple very good Conkelder answers. But I think Batwoman is the play here. He could have a Rock type. Maybe he's going to Superpower, which means that I probably one-shot with Fly now. So that's fine. And he'll take some Sandstorm Chip. Yeah, I think we probably one-shot with Fly. So we'll go for that. Does he have Stone Edge? He does have Stone Edge. So I hope this one-shots. Uh, we just got another error. Looks like the game is going to play out. Okay. That's weird. In the last episode, we got an error too. So this is two episodes in a row. That's why we got to just be really careful. But I'll take that. And let's make sure we're healed up. Hey, you should be careful around here. Why? Why must I be careful, Ranger? A Talon Flame. Okay, tell me how Darwin has been bad against everything I've faced so far. <laughs> I can't even use him right now. Have I made a very big mistake? Of course he burns me. That's all right. We're going to crit him with Stone Edge. So it's fine. Right, Juggernaut? You missed. This episode has already been very sketch, dude. I feel like I'm missing hits. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting good attacks off. I do get that KO, though, because it's a Talon Flame. And Nexus gets some love. What else you got for me? A Morion! Okay, so that's grass. Looks like grass and water, if I had to guess. Grass and water. That sounds about right to me. What level are you? 58? I feel like he's grass and water. Let's go Darwin and see what Darwin can do here. He's going to Leaf Blade me. Okay, we took that pretty well. Let's go for an Ice Beam. He's going to Hydro Pump and miss. I'm going to Ice Beam and do a ton. And then I'm going to Ice Beam a second time and knock him out. Because he had the Tailwind. So, I think he would have done a lot to us if he hit that Hydro Pump. But, luckily, he did not. So, we won't have to worry about it. All right, this dude's got Fighting type, So, I'm not even going to try to lead off with Darwin. We're going to learn our lesson. I'm a Black Belt with a White Belt. Oh, here's another one of those. So, that means he's going to have a bad strategy. Okay, you already know he's going to have Thunder Punch, right? Like... That's definitely a thing. Let's just go 07. He's gonna Thunder Punch. He's gonna Detect. Okay, 07 is fine here. We just counter. Fire Punch. He takes Rock. This thing is such a beast, dude. I'm so glad I get to finally use a Wobbuffet on a playthrough, man. And I know y'all leave your 07s in the chat when you're hyped for him. He does get burned, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, let's see what else he got. A Hitmo and Lee. I'm just gonna counter again. Like, you're gonna Blaze Kick me, but I get to just fire back at you. Yeah, um, I do have to heal because he'll just die to Rocky Helmet, so I don't even need to attack right now. He just blaze kicks again, knocks himself out. Beautiful. And what else you got for me? Everyone's getting... Jeez, the whole team's getting levels. Heavy Slam. Ooh. That's probably going to be better than Iron Head because of how heavy he is when he's Mega Aggron. And hit Moan Top. I'm just going to counter again. Oh, is this the Agility Gyro Ball one? Is that really what we're about to do? Yeah, he's the Agility Gyro Ball one, I think. All right, then it's in my best interest to just switch out. We'll go into... Uh, we can just go Batwoman here, I think. Tell me it's Agility Gyro Ball, dude. It is! It's the same concept as that last time. And you guys mentioned in the comments that it was kind of ironic because he says he's a white belt because that's like the, the lowest belt. I don't know my belt. So do I look like I did karate? I don't. Um... So that's why, because he do does dumb strategies. It all makes sense now. Oh, a quick claw. Nice. I always get torn when these routes split into two different ways, because I'm like, which way do I go? All right, we got Beauty Keisha with her son, Flora. Well, I definitely got to switch out. Um, Honestly, I think, I think Batwoman's probably fine. 
Not that I have a ton of options for Sunflora. Leaf Storm. Yeah, it's a good thing I went into Batwoman. Um, we can just cross poison. I think this thing just gets kind of blown back by this. Why do I feel like you're gonna have a Heliolisk? A, f a Frost Moth. Ooh. Frost Moth is kind of tricky for me. I'm not gonna lie. I think Nexus will be okay against it. Let's see. That does a lot, but we do resist. And I think a play rub should do a lot back. <sighs> oh, gosh. And I miss another play rub. Nexus, where are your goggles at, dog? All right, we're going to go Megatron. And hope I can take multiple hits here. Oh, he crits me. And he freezes me. Please tell me I have a full restore. I do have a full restore. This is bad. If I can heavy slam, we're going to be fine. But if he hits me with... Okay, that did way less. We could just heavy slam. This shouldn't do anything else. Yeah, we're good. This should one shot. He sashed. Okay. Um. I guess the play is I heal again, right? And then do it again. Ice beam. Okay. Giga drain, that's fine. Dude. Tell me how my team is very Frost Moth weak. Wow. Next is trying to learn Hydro Pump. No. Okay. Wow. You uh, Halt, you must accept my challenge. Why do I feel like you're going to be really good, Hiker Ainsley? A Gigalith. Oh, this is that Gigalith again. Okay. Um. We know he's like Ghost and something else, right? Ghost and Rock. Why do I never know what to do against this dude? Let's Aqua Tail it. Okay, he's got earth power. Okay, good stuff, Nexus. I love the hustle, baby. Get a whole level there. Okay. And TM103 Stealth Rock, which I've had, but that's okay, I'll take it. Okay, so we actually have a patch of grass that we can get an encounter on here. And it looks like there's a really cool amount of Pokemon, including us potentially getting Sandridger. So, I guess we'll just see what we get. Um, I got Nex in the front. Let's put Batwoman in the front. All right, let's see what we got here. Give me something good. It's a Rapid Dash. Honestly, not the worst thing, bro, because, like, I really could use... Um, I really could use a Fire-type. Like, I don't have a lot of Fire-types. So, let's go Nexus to weaken it. And I'm not mad about it. I would have liked to get the new Mon, but... Uh, what do I do? I think... Would Play Rough knock it out? Why do I feel like I'm going to just blow this back with anything I do to it? You know, let's go 07 because if he goes for a physical move, he'll take Rocky Helmet damage. I don't know how to weaken this thing. I don't even know if I can. Let's just yeet an Ultra Ball and see what happens. There's no way I'm going to catch it, right? Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, he's special, which is just lovely. Um, I'll try another Ultra Ball. I don't even know how to weaken this thing. I don't like have a way to weaken it. Yeah. I need him to attack with physical moves. You know what I could do? I could try Juggernaut and maybe go for Rock Smash. I may just... Oh, he burns me here. This is good. Okay, that's actually perfect because now I can Rock Smash. I do get a Defense Drop though. So now I think I knock him out. It's kind of awkward. Let's see if I... I, I am I just going to fail this thing over and over again? How do I catch this guy? If I attack with another Rock Smash, I'm going to knock him out. Oh my god, I can't I can't weaken him to catch him. He had to get that defense drop, didn't he? Um Maybe Batwoman can U-turn and it won't knock him out? That's the best bet I have right now, I think. I'm not gonna catch him otherwise, so let's see. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Uh let's go Nexus. And now we can catch him. I don't know why I didn't think to U-turn. That's actually perfect. I'm pretty sure I had Crobat out to begin with and I didn't U-turn. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, he still doesn't want to be caught? Jeez, man, I'm gonna run out of Ultra Balls, bro. Just stay in the Pokeball, Rapidash. There we go, we got him. Nice. It's your boy Fuego. Bring in the heat. We take those. All right, now I gotta heal everyone up again. Antiqua Desert is up top and the Sandstone Path and Antiqua Pass are to the left. So something tells me I'm about to run into that Sand, sand Ridger guy. Let's find out. Sorry there, these sand slashes have gone completely crazy. Don't worry, I've got this one. Athena, go Cresselia! Good job, Cresselia, return! Thank you, champion Athena. They were unbelievably hostile. We couldn't stop them. We're glad you came along. 
Well, fancy seeing you again, A-Drive. I suppose my title's been blown, but I try to stay humble. One of the most important aspects of developing an individual is knowing how to stay grounded and remembering where you started. I, myself, am just a girl from Opelucid City and Unova. But hey, look at you. You've grown since we last spoke. You have seven badges already. In the last 10 years, only 11 trainers reached eight badges. Only three went on to challenge the league. Maybe you figured out the true essence of being a trainer, the bond between you and your Pokemon. It is a relationship that requires immense devotion, but if you can keep a firm grasp to it, then no one can stand in your way. I hope to see you soon, A-Drive, but I must attend other duties. Adieu. Okay, so I guess I can go up there now, but I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way. So this way leads to Aquafina City. So let's battle this guy. He's got an Aria Deuce. Uh, I have to switch. Let's go Batwoman. Is he gonna sticky web me? Oh, pin missile, yeah, okay. All right, so it's been kind of ironic. This entire episode, I've had very bad opportunities. Oh, he's got a Talonflame. To utilize, and he's gonna burn me, come on. I'll just cross poison. Uh, I've had very bad opportunities to try to utilize my, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> my newest uh, newest friend here, uh, my new evolution, but that's okay. Um, this is an Ariados. Honestly, like, what are you doing a Megatron, bro? Probably nothing. You don't have, like, superpower or anything. Um, Rock Slide should just obliterate you. I like Ariados. One of my favorite designs of just, like, a bad mon, but he's super cool. And Cacturn. Um, what are you doing to me, Cacturn? Probably nothing. Just Heavy Slam. This is my one shot. Close. I'm faster? Yeah. It was a little risky, but we're a higher level, so I figured we were fine. And I don't think Sucker Punch was killing us there. All right, let's heal again and keep it going. Defend your honor! Okay. I shall rock a Rhyperior. Aqua Tail! This should one shot. Oh, he lived! Mind blown that he lived that. I'll just surf then. He must have solid rock then. I don't know how you lived that otherwise. 6,000 XP, let's go! Dude, that's hype. Oh, and we're back in Aerodon Town. Oh, okay, so I see how this works. It kind of loops back around. That's nice. When you see an Audino Bush at this stage of the game, you can't just leave it there. You gotta get it for the XP. Nice. 4,000 XP, dude. This is actually a really good bush, I think, to train. Yeah, I may have just found one of the best training spots in the game at this stage. Very small bush that's not very, like, spread out. And easy Audino spawns here. This should be a really good way for us to level up. So I'm just gonna grab a few levels just to catch up Megatron and Nexus. So they're all at about 60, because that seems to be where we need to be. All right, the whole team's at a nice and clean 60, which you gotta love to see, uh, which means I can pretty much start to use my Megastone soon, at least in tough, tough things, but. I've heard a rumor of hidden runes somewhere in the desert, although I've never seen it and neither has anyone I've spoken to. Are we headed to the desert? I know they said that. Oh, we are headed to the desert, okay. So. Now I think is actually the time to bust out that Mega Stone. So let's take Megatron's item. Let's give him Agronite. Because I have a feeling there's going to be some tough trainers here. And we do get an encounter here as well. So I feel like it's just going to be in the grass though. But let's battle this trainer and see what they're working with. All right. You've got a Porygon 2. Um, he gets a special attack boost. Let's Mega and then Heavy Slam and see how Megatron does. This is his first battle. My first ever Mega right here. And look how much heavy, I mean, it was a crit, but look how much heavy slam does. And an Oma Star. We can just Earthquake. I mean, what's Oma Star gonna do to big mega AGG Ron, baby? He's such a beast. I'm so happy. No boosts. All right, he's gonna protect, but it's all good, man. We're gonna wreck him. I, for those that don't know, I, I go way back with Megatron. Very special Pokemon for me. Back many years ago, I played in a competitive league called the GBA or Global Battle Association. And I won the championship in GBA season five with Mega Agron on my team. And it was it was really epic. So very special Pokemon for me. It seems like uh, once we step onto this area here, this is where the wild encounters are. And it's gonna be a Maractus. A little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie, but we take it, I suppose. I will Mega and cut. Oh, I have a Maractus already. Oh, we had one and it died. I get another encounter. Sweet. I forgot about that. All right, what is it gonna be? A Copperaja. Now that, I can get behind that. I will Mega and Earthquake. I don't think an Earthquake knocks him out. Copperaja is very bulky. There's no way this knocks him out. I very much so overestimated the bulk of Copperaja. Oops, my bad. 
I was doing super well at not failing encounters in this game too, and I just failed encounters, but that's okay. How am I even meant to get out of here? Uh, well, I don't know, Hiker Bob, but you've got a Zvilus. Dude, Megatron is so solid. I need to get more heavy slams. Probably should go back and heal, but that's okay. Look at that, dude. He's just so heavy. It's like me after eating Chinese food, man. It's not even fair. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know you're like that. Uh, we should be able to beat him with a rock slide here. Dude, he's a monster. I love him so much. He's such a beast. I saw you using the power of Psychic. Ooh, tell me you have Psychic types. Hatterene and Florgus. Megatron and Juggernaut. All right, well, the good news is we just destroy something here. I'm gonna destroy you, and then actually I do wanna switch out because I'm worried that Hatterene is gonna have Magical Leaf or something, or one of the, the floor is gonna have Magical Leaf. Something is gonna have a grass type move, so I'm just gonna go 07. Misty Terrain, Heavy Slam one shots Florgus, no doubt. So then what is the, what does the other dude got, do? Dazzling Gleam, okay. So that crit and did way more than it should have, but that's okay. I can one-shot him, so it's not a big deal. And a Trevenant. I can heavy slam you. And Trevenant's a bit sketch, so I think I just go Darwin here. Because Darwin wrecks that, and we one-shot the Hatterene for sure. And then if he goes for a ghost move and a Darwin, I resist. He's gonna wood hammer, that's fine. I know I'll one-shot it with Ice Beam, so I'm not worried about that. And we're actually good, so I'll just rock slide. And we can just Ice Beam and finish him off. This should easily one-shot. Nice. Easy. Nice, we beat the Psychic. Didn't expect a double battle. I should probably be a little bit more prepared for those. I'm gonna use an Aether on Heavy Slam as well. Is someone here? I think so. Yeah, I'm right here, dude. Like, I'm like right in front of you, Nairo. He's got a Soul Rock. I've got Nexus out here. Let's just Aqua Tail everything. That might hurt. Ugh, dude, Nexus! Where are your glasses, Nexus? I should not have done that. That was a little risky. My dude has missed more attacks in this episode than I think any Pokemon has the entire series. And a Lunatone. I'm gonna have to heal and then do this again. Like, my man has missed so many player ups already. Well, he misses his Stone Edge, so that's good. Um, like, what are you doing, Nexus? Hit your attacks, dog. There we go. These are 90% accurate moves. Do I have to give you the Wide Lens? Like, I got the uh, Lucky Egg on you to get some extra XP, but you know what I should do, actually? Juggernaut's falling a little bit behind. Let's give him the Lucky Egg since Megatron has the Mega Stone now. Stay safe and battle me. Okay. You've got a Zangoose. Um, I mean, if I just play rough, don't you just die? Taunt. I almost superpowered, but I think I'd knock him out with this. I don't. Um, did I just surf, I think? He close combats me. If he had gone for a normal type move, he probably would have done a good amount, but that's okay, I'll take it. And what else you got? A Nido King. Yeah, I gotta switch. Um, I mean, I can't do that. Nido King is kind of tricky, if I'm being honest. I think we go 07. I don't want to go Megatron because I'm not evolved. And I don't want to go Darwin in case he goes for like a really powerful physical move. I could go Batwoman, but we're poisoned. Let's just go 07. I feel like we're going to get poison jabbed. Earth power, that's the other one. Okay, I'm gonna presume that he's special and just go for Mirror Coat and hope I'm right. Yeah, okay, we're good. This should one shot. We'll come darn close. Close is right. Um, I think now we go Batwoman and then I can just knock him out with the Fly probably, even though I'm burned. I don't have any way to heal the burn. I probably should have went back and healed. Honestly, I probably should go back and heal in general because I feel like there's a battle against someone. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Dante shows up at the end. Wait, did I miss? No, I thought, okay, okay. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Dante shows up at the end of the desert and he's just like, yo, I'm here to battle. And you know he's got a tough team. And a... S a Salamence. Um, I'm gonna go Juggernaut, because I, I think we should be fine. Yeah, if he's physical, then he doesn't do anything to me. And I get a special defense boost in Sand. So even if he was special... Although I will say that was a bit risky. Salamence does learn Hydro Pump, so I probably shouldn't have chanced that. But it works out. The only way to face the sandstorm is to learn the layout of the desert. All right, Psychic Harley's got a clay doll. Oh, it's time for Darwin, baby. Dark Pulse! Dark Pulse! Yeah! 
I love him so much. He's very awesome. And a frost last dark pulse again. Yeah. Choice scarf, baby. Ooh. Thank goodness for this oasis palm. I need a bottle of water. Oh, do you need fresh water? I don't have any fresh water on me. But I do have TM Smackdown, which they gave to me at this part of the game. That's lovely. Look, an oasis. All right, what do you want from me, Hiker? Hiker Patrick with a crocodile. Oh, I get to Ice Beam. Ice Beam! Goodbye! Dude, this thing's a monster. Tell me you got more ground types. Colossal. Oh, I gotta switch out. Colossal's dope, though. Uh, rock and fire. I think we just go Juggernaut and Earthquake, right? Incinerate. I don't have a berry, so it's fine. Uh, it should be faster. I love Colossal, man. Another Pokemon that's really special to me. I top cut my first ever competitive VGC regional with Colossal. Before Colossal was cool. Um, Flygon. Honestly, like, don't I just go Darwin and just Ice Beam? He misses Dragon Rush. I would have been fine. I would have lived that. We're such a high level comparative right now. Which is good. Because, dude, I know these trainers are a little lower. But we were facing some crazy stuff. I mean, I faced a level 60 Mega Galade to start the episode. So, like, I am not taking this for granted at all. In situations like this, it's best to stay positive. All right. Pokemon Ranger Martin's got his Mien Shout. Now, that I have to switch out on. Because we have a big weakness to fighting. So, let's go 07. He's going to high jump kick. He's going to take Rocky Helmet. And I can just counter. He may have U-turn, but we'll just, yeah, we just counter the next thing, which is honestly better. <laughs> it's just like, man to buzz, goodbye. Oh, we lived. Um, okay, so I think Batwoman is the play here. Because he's going to die to Sand anyway, and then Mian Shao comes in, and I, I resist anything he does. I'm faster. I can just fly and probably knock him out. He could have Stone Edge, though, the, the Mian Shao, I guess, would be the one one concern, is him having Stone Edge. Um, What's the likelihood of that? Like, relatively high, right? I'll just U-turn. And I'll just go 07. He goes for Bounce. Okay. I think I could just counter. Don't get fully paralyzed. Nice. Sweet. That was a little risky, but I felt like we were going to live it anyway, so I wasn't too concerned. Oh, well, there's the hidden ruins. If that's not a secret, I don't know what... what that's. I mean, it's clearly what that is, right? So you need the right bike. I don't think I have the right bike for this. Yeah, you need to have the acro bike, and I don't have that yet. I don't know when you get it. Oh, there's a tablet on the far side of the desert. I think it's, it's uh, connected to the ruins. So on the far side of the desert, all the way over here, there's a tablet, apparently. I thought I was just over here, but I don't see a tablet. Oh, you know what? It's probably on the bike path. So, yeah, you probably need the acro bike. You can go to the acro bike across that top path, access the tablet, and then you can go to the ruins in the middle, which is definitely a thing to explore. But let's see what's good, because I think I'm finally done with this. Redoril City, we made it. I need to heal before I do anything. So let's just go to the Pokemon Center, and then we'll explore. And I haven't utilized anything, but we've got a really cool box. Uh, we've got Defiant. Anticipation, Fuego with Runaway is kind of bad. We haven't picked up Effect Spore one up. We have a really, really cool box though. So worst case scenario, and here's some of our casualties. We've had some unfortunate casualties too, but here's what we got. So, and we obviously had a Maractus already. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is our backup squad. I think Absol would be really cool to use. We've got some good stuff. So if we ever need it, we got it. So this seems, seems to be a new location, Redoril Mine? Um, my guess is I'm about to run into something here, but let's let's explore it. As a Machamp. Battle? Sure, why not? Oh god, I wasn't expecting a battle, bro. I'm just looking through the mine. Cradilly. Um, I feel like Ice Beam's gonna do a lot. Yeah! You'll love to see it. And Caracosta. Um... I think I can just go Nexus. A little nervous if he shell smashes. He's gonna just Aqua Tail, that's fine. Um, I Aqua Tail too, I don't want to superpower. I don't like dropping my defense. Now I can, oh, now I can superpower? Cause this should do enough. Nice. That was a little sketch, that little, that little rock slide crit there. You want to battle? Sure, I guess I'm just battling these dudes in the mine, I don't know. Minor Luigi's got his Bastion on. Uh, we should just be able to beat this with Earthquake. 
The big concern about Bastiodon is always Metal Burst. Sturdy Metal Burst. This is not the one, so we're good. Uh, we can just cut. I missed. Go figure. Now we can cut. Okay. Yeah, Sturdy Metal Burst is always the concern with Bastiodon. I kind of just risked it, but... Ooh, Heavy Slam should just one-shot this Armaldo. This will be fun. I like Armaldo. By the way, Armaldo's eyes are this thing sticking off its head, not the red spots in the middle. Fun facts. All right, Megatron wants to learn metal. Speaking of, I don't think it's worth, I'll give it a cut, but we're probably just gonna replace cut for Stealth Rock anyway. But yeah, speaking of Metal Burst, that's funny. Oh, that's Dante, isn't it? That's Dante, I think. All right, well, let me, I didn't go this way. So let me go talk over here. I guess this guy wants to battle too. And then I'll talk to, I think that was Dante. So a Seismitude. Um, I don't really have the best way to deal with this thing. I guess it's Darwin Ice Beaming or Nexus. Yeah, probably Nexus. He's just gonna Hydro Pump, yeah. Uh, we can just play rough. Hyper Voice, interesting. Oh my God, we almost one shot him. Um, I gotta play rough again because he could have Water Absorb. So even though Surf is like a better option, I don't wanna run into a Water Absorb there. And a Golem, yeah, we just Aqua Tail. Probably should have swapped. Don't explode. Oh! Okay. Jeez, dude. Whew. Little risky there. Little risky. I thought he was gonna explode. Wow, okay. Well, we're still in it. Okay, so if that is Dante up front, I'm actually gonna go and put Stealth Rock back on Megatron, just in case. Uh, I don't really want Metal Burst because if it's a long team battle, then I want to have that as an option. So let's see. Seems like a problem internally. Sorry, I didn't notice. Oh, this isn't this isn't Dante at all. This is a new person entirely. I'm um, Venus, nice to meet you. I guess you're another challenger, I thought so. Apologies, allow me to fix this broken fan first. Fortunately, we found the missing parts quickly. There we go. The workers can finally return to work and the intense heat has died down a little bit. I guess I can return to my gym. Oh, so that's the gym leader. I had no idea that I was supposed to come here to take on the gym leader, but it all works out at the end, I guess. And here's the gym. I'm curious what type it is. I'm not gonna face it right now. Oh, it is the burning passion for battle. Water and ground types are most effective. Okay, so, and it's it's sunny in there too, which is very tricky for my team. Um, yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. Having a steel type mega, probably not the best bet. I may need to actually, whoa. Oh, it's Looker. Please take a seat. This is my friend Arturo. He's an X Squad Zero member and is willing to help us break into their hideout. The Squad Zero town is heavily guarded. The town is surrounded by a large wall, so the only way to enter is to climb over or to trick the guards. Your decision. Their base is up at the snowy route surrounding Mount Zero, so it's hard to get to. I have some spare outfits for you to both disguise yourself with. I can't help if they recognize you. To get there, your first stop will be sh Snalaska Village, because it's so isolated. The only way through the waterfalls is all ball cliffs. You'll need this. So we got TM Waterfall. All right, so we just figured out what we need to do next in the storyline as I'm kind of exploring the rest of the city. Um, I'm gonna keep looking around the city because I feel like there's stuff I didn't see yet. Like this, Firestone, Charcoal, some Pokeballs, stuff like that, that's fine. Um, what do you got here? Oh, there's a Mart, so I can buy stuff. This is a bigger Mart. Oh, gems! Ooh, which we can get through dust clouds, but actually kind of good. Gems are kind of busted. I'm gonna grab some Ultra Balls. I'm gonna grab some Hyper Potions. And I'm gonna grab some Full Heals too, because I feel like I need them. The Pokemon Move Maniac. Oh, yes. This is great. This is actually, do you have Aqua Jet? Aqua Jet? That's an Egg Move. Bummer. It's really hopeful for Aqua Jet. Um, I'm not really sure there's any super good moves that I'm gonna get from this. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to have this guy, but it's kind of late in the game. So it doesn't really help me right now. And this is the Redoril Estate. This guy looks like he's a tough trainer. Should I battle him? Maybe. I'm gonna look around, maybe we'll battle him. He looks like he wants to battle. Hi there, I'm Martin's daughter. I'm just enjoying the air. Oh, Martin must be the guy who owns the estate. What is this, Blossom? Oh! Is that shiny? It is shiny! Static shiny Blossom! That's cute! Just chilling in the garden. How do I weaken you without knocking you out? 
Um. Nexus going for Surf, maybe? Stun Spore, that's fine. Yeah, actually, I definitely... Oh, he's going to Quiver Dance. Okay, so this thing might get really scary really fast. It's going to Sunny Day. Okay. I'm actually kind of nervous. Because that's doing nothing. And if he starts attacking me, I'm kind of in trouble. I could go Megatron and Earthquake. If I knock this thing out, how dumb is that going to be, though? I'm going to Mega and I'm going to Earthquake. If I knock him out, that's really dumb. Because this is our second chance at a Shiny in the game. Okay, that didn't do that much. All right, I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball. Oh, that was close. Okay, so he hasn't attacked yet. All right, I'm going to Earthquake again. Oh, he's got Pezzle Blizzard. Okay, that shouldn't do too much, though. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. We can get to Shiny Blossom. I mean, it's not going to do much for us in the upcoming gym, but I'll take it. I'm going to name it Alola. Sweet. All right, I just healed up. Let's see if this is a trainer. I'm Derek. My dad owns the mine, so we're hecka loaded. Got these beast Pokemon. Want to wager in battle with me? This could be a very big mistake. We're doing it anyway. Cool trainer Derek would like to battle. He kicks it off with a Gardevoir. I mean, Heavy Slam? I mean, Heavy Slam? Heliolisk. I mean, Earthquake? It's Mega Heliolisk! And he misses Fire Blast! I, I would have just lost Megatron, bro. That 100% was killing me. And Dragonite. He's going to max revive the Heliolisk. Full rest oh my god, he's rich. He's rich. He's mega rich, bro. He 100% just revived that healer list, and I gotta deal with that now. Bro, he just keeps full restoring. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna Stealth Rock. Because I have to figure out how do I beat... How do I beat that healer list? If he's electric and fire, I mean, I guess Juggernaut, right? I guess Juggernaut. At least he's taking 25 off the top when he comes in. I got really lucky. He definitely revived that thing. Oh, he revived Gardevoir! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Wow! Oh, man! <laughs> thank you so much! Thank you so much! Oh, that's a really strong Gardevoir still. Oh, boy. Yikes. How did I lose? I'm never gonna get even... I'm not done training. I want to rematch soon. I thought he was about to battle me again, dude. Like, I legit thought he was about to be like, yo, we're battling again. Oh, baby. All right, I think this is actually a good spot for us to wrap up. On the next episode, we're going to explore the rest of this mansion and then ultimately take on the gym leader. I may need to grab some Pokemon from my PC and train him up, though, because I'm not convinced that uh, this is the perfect team for this upcoming seemingly fire gym, which I think is going to be very tough. I'm not going to lie. So get excited for that, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. Hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget to pick up our new Team Shiny shirts. They are amazing. Probably some of the best ones yet. Our mythical collection is available now. So check it out at teamshiny.com and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.